Alright, we're back. I've got 10 minutes before I have to change my memory card. That's why I kind of ended that one. Because I don't really want it to, but just because of limited memory space. I got a few more memory cards at the source for 10 bucks a piece for a gig. I don't like technology. I think I've said that before. I don't really like it. I tolerate it. I'm getting good hits. Four rods. Live target. Fish on both rods right now. That's why I'm rushing this guy. Just a little guy. Actually pretty decent. Ooh, perch. Big perch. Big perch. This guy's still on. Yep, he is. He is still on. Wow, two fish. And another big perch. Oh my god, I've got two perch here, ladies and gentlemen. Two white perch. This never happens. Understand me correct. This never happens. Oh my god, these are nice perch too. Like really nice. Oh my god. These are really good perch. Hang on here, folks. Ah, come here. Urgh. Gotcha. They're spiny guys, too. Oh, oh, nice perch. Nice perch. Oh, yeah, that, you have to understand, folks. This is a rarity right here. A white perch, and you can tell that they're not a bass because their line is really distinct, and they have this... Well, all fish do, but this is more pronounced than their spines. And they're a lot more white. Oh, that's a nice perch. Really nice perch. I keep them, but I support catch and release. There he goes. There's one. Now there's a second one. Yeah, this never happens. This is amazing. Like, this is never happened to me before. I've never caught white perch. Well, I have before, but not two at a time. This is awesome. All right, get this guy hooked. This is another nice one, a little smaller, but still a nice, nice perch. This is a rarity, a really rarity. Once again, you can tell, you've got a really pronounced lateral line, and this is more pronounced than their things, and they're a lot more white, and their eyes are a little bit bigger than bass. Nice fish. He's ready to go. There he goes. That was awesome. That was awesome. That never happens. That's so rare. That is so rare, and I caught that on camera. Two nice, really nice, actually, white perch. Like, they usually... They're around five inches. Those were good, good fish. I got my. So, I got hooked up on both the smallmouth bass life target and cut that and the. Uh, Brown trout lure, Rapala floater, number nine size. Got him. All right, there we go. I don't like cutting up fabric, but sometimes there's no choice. Oh, that was awesome. That never happens. I'm just amazed right now. I'm like shocked. Like beyond belief. And I'm surprised that that other one stayed on. As I was reeling in one. that out. See if we can hook up. But a few more. I'm still in shock. I can't believe that. Two really nice white, white perch. I can't believe it. Like I said, that never ever happens on this lake. Or very rare. 
You know, usually you catch one, like, very rare. Like, I, I'm just in shock right now. But, perch, pick up a good fight. I thought he was a big old bass. But he was just a really nice white perch. You can use them as bait too, but I don't. You don't catch enough smaller ones to to use as bait. Like sure they're small, but I mean five or six inches for a bait. I guess it's not too bad for bass, but still it's a lot bigger than I usually use. Flurries are running nicely. First fish I've actually got to the boat on that smallmouth bass live target. Twas a perch, twas a perch, twas a perch. And a horsefly nailed me at my leg there, that's why I'm You know, when I first got that smallmouth bass live target, I threw it a little bit. But not a whole lot. Not enough to say it's a crappy lure, it's not worth buying. Oh, it's a piece of junk, you know? Live target and Rapala, man. They're the best ways to go. I just can't get over how real those live targets look. It's, it's unbelievable. Like, if you've never used one before, it's... You wouldn't believe it. Like they're just so real. It's just, it's just sometimes it's hard to believe when you, when you, especially when you first pull it out of the package. It's pretty crazy. Especially when you're used to using not really custom baits, I shouldn't say, but when you're used to using layers that aren't so detailed, I mean. It's hard to believe when you first first get a live target. It's hard to believe. Sometimes it makes you not want to use them because they're so just so beautiful. I mean, oh my god, it's, it's unbelievable. I've got two minutes, folks, so I think I'm going to end this video. If I don't catch anything. Nope. Well, Woodsman 500. I've got to change memory cards, and we're about to move into a nice fishing area. So stay tuned. Woods May 500.